Hold on. Before I, <clears throat> yeah, let me do something here. So, and as you can see, got everything all in here. Surfer Pro, VTHD, and Aaron's back there. Love it. So remember guys, when I had the problem with the Gravely, uh, where it was, when I get into, after it runs for about 30, 45 minutes, it wants to shut off. Didn't know what was going on, took it to the shop. They went through the carburetor. Uh, there, it was a little dirt in there, the brie. They got that taken care of. They gave it a tune up, fuel filter, all that kind of stuff. I picked it up the next day, took it back. I'm sorry, I didn't take it back. I picked it up the next day and went to use it that afternoon, same thing. So I called the owner. He was very apologetic. Say, hey, bring it back in the morning. We'll take a look at it. So what I decided to do is get on old faithful YouTube and I'm gonna try to find the video and post a link um, to it. But you'll never believe, and you probably will believe what the cause of it was. Right here, where I'm pointing at. That is the fuel inlet out of the tank that sucks the fuel out of the tank or provides passage for the fuel to come out of the tank to the fuel filter, to the fuel pump, and into the engine. I watched that video that night while I was saying what time, thinking about what time I can drop it off the next morning. And I found this video where the guy had a ZT. He actually had a Pro Turn, I believe it was. And he had a video called, I, I, uh, Engine Bogging Down on Gravely HD, whatever you want to call it. It is not the carburetor. He said nine times out of 10, when it bogs down, and it, uh, where I should say when it shuts off like that, nine times out of 10, it's not your engine getting hot. It is fuel supply. So what he did is he pulled this out, this, this inlet valve out, which makes it pretty easy, disconnect it here. I'm not sure how the camera is because I'm dark in the trailer, but disconnect it, pull it out. It has a 90 degree bend to it. And I think I kept the picture of what it was. And basically it had trash in that 90 degree. It had trash in that 90 degree bin. So once I pulled it off, I took it into the shop, my shop, home shop, and decided I would take the air compressor like he did, get a paper napkin, and blow air lightly in that 90 degree. You would not believe the trash that come out of it. And I think I took the picture and I sent it to the owner here at the shop. And I blew that trash out. I hadn't had one problem with the gravy. So just a tip guys, for you got the gravely models out there or any model and your engine shuts down after about 30 minutes check the fuel supply areas, line, fuel filter, all of that kind of stuff. And what the guy was explaining to me is that if it's sitting idle, it is sipping gas. But when you put a load on it constantly and it's pulling up, trying to pull that stream of gas into the engine, you're basically, it's blocked up at that 90 degree and it's starving the engine and the engine cuts off. All right, guys, that's all I got. On to the next one. New Hope Cuts. Keep cutting.